You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. What is up, fam? It's your big bro, Joy, back with another reading for y'all. <laughs> Hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I want to welcome back to the channel my OGs and uh, thank you for your continued love and support. I really appreciate everything y'all do. Thank y'all so much. I want to welcome to the channel any new viewers. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for your love and everything y'all do. I really appreciate everything everybody does over here, like positive uh, for the motivation, for the inspiration. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate every last one of y'all and i'm wishing nothing but the best for everybody out there you know what i'm saying because y'all deserve nothing but the best comment down below if y'all are ready to go we are we coming out we are ready to go already baby i'm hearing this time to time time for some action time to take some action let's clear out the energy here much love light and prosperity to everybody baby fortune deck oh there it goes give yourself credit remember that give yourself credit for what you do out here your contribution to the collective is much needed much appreciated Let's see what we got for you guys here. See yourself as enough. Things are going in your favor. Wow, something is going in your favor. Know that people change for who they want to, to keep. And see yourself with multiple sources of income. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I love it. See yourself as enough. Uh, like I said, give yourself credit because you deserve it, right? You're good enough to have whatever the hell you want to have. As long as you're not infringing on, you know, you ain't hurting nobody else. You ain't hurting yourself. You, you, you deserve to have what you want. Things are going in your favor. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Okay, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. See yourself with multiple sources of income. It looks like you you are on the verge of manifesting more income into your life. Multiple sources, like you might work a nine to five right now, but you might be working on getting a side hustle, or uh, what do you call it? Monetizing some sort of gift or some sort of ability that you have. Right? People change for who they want to keep. So know that if you got people in your life right now, and they're doing things that you don't agree with and you keep telling them to stop doing me that stop doing me like that you feel me and they're not changing just know i'm talking about disrespect you know what i'm saying like people they they blatantly disrespecting you or blatantly hurting you breaking your heart stuff like that or making you feel bad know that if they wanted to keep you in their life they would change so let that sink in for somebody. If they wanted to, if they wanted to keep you, they would stop doing whatever they were doing, right? If it's hurting you, harming you in some sort of way. What do we got here? Your life will be filled with sunshine, happiness, and success, regardless of how many things may have, regardless of how things may have been, luck is in store for you. So things are going in your favor. Know that luck is in store for you at this time. You may fail an exam or a lesson through your own lack of studying and learning. You may have to repeat this lesson or retake the exam. Good luck. So there, be careful with something. Okay. And I feel like it has to do with you seeing yourself as enough and knowing that people change for who they want to keep. So this is you not selling yourself short by going for going after people who don't care nothing about you. Right. So if a person wanted to keep you, they would stop. Let, let's say, let's say if somebody's cheating on you 
over and over and over again or they're disrespecting you over and over in some sort of way over and over and are stealing from you betraying you whatever over and over and over again if they wanted to keep you in your life they, if they value you like that they would stop doing that so you gotta see you gotta you know you, we can't change people so you have to change yourself all right and what you allow and what you what you what you don't allow we got uh someone will contact you soon who you are happy to see this is a happy communication so be on the lookout for somebody who you are happy to hear from or you at least get good good vibes from contacting you soon okay you will be surrounded by people who value you and take you seriously people will show their appreciation for you see i i feel like this has to do with people changing for who they want to keep so there's some people around you who's not going to change and you you are part of that lesson for you is for you to to put yourself first and, and put your foot down and create healthy boundaries for yourself and say you know um well, we're not compatible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to keep hanging around you if you're treating me like crap, you know? Because I don't deserve that, you know? And just know that there are people out there who love you. There are people out there who can and will love you, respect you, treat you with, uh, like I said, treat you with respect and appreciate you. Oof. I'm hearing don't let this don't let this opportunity slip through your fingers. OK, for somebody the start, the beginning of a new cycle approaches. Get ready. Yeah. A new idea comes to you that will change your world. A game changer. This could have something to do with this money making idea uh, has to do with a multiple uh, multiple sources of income. You might discover um a new uh like i said a new what do you call it a new side hustle right that you could use or do to generate more money or you need to look into that or keep your eyes open from that as well for that right it said moonlight um what's done in the dark will be brought to the light secrets will be revealed so there's a some you're gonna find out a secret about somebody i'm getting who you thought was cool you were cool with who you thought was your friend thought was your Bay, love whoever the f whoever it is sorry whoever this is you're gonna find out something that was being done behind your back but i'm hearing don't fret about that because you're gonna have a, a recovery you will bounce back from love related issues so you're gonna be able to bounce back from whatever it is Whatever it is, you're going to be able to bounce back from it. So don't worry about that. Hold on. Let me write that down so I can make sure I can hold up. Yeah. You guys got luck coming to you. Oh wow, hold up, y'all. You guys have luck coming to you. You have luck and money matters. Okay, so be careful with that, uh, with who you uh, let know about that. Okay? And it could be, this luck with money matters could be part of those uh, multiple sources of income like you either getting a part-time job or you get doing some sort of side hustle some that you create that's going to help you generate some more coins uh for you right be careful it says someone around you is in uh is a gossip or thief of ideas keep your secrets to yourself and that's so funny let me tell you something you guys have a money making idea or something that you're going to want to do that you're going to have to make sure that you keep it to yourself because there's somebody around you who if you if they get wind of this idea they're going to try to steal it from you period 
So be careful who you be telling your, your, your ideas to, your plans to. Because there's somebody who's going to be like, damn, that's a that's a bomb plan. You know what I'm saying? That's a good plan right there. Let me steal it from them. Let me do it before they do it. So now I'm the originator. And now when they come after me, they're going to be the one that look like they're going to be the, the copier. They're copying off of me. Or they could snatch an idea right from under you like that and take a clientele from you as well. That's why you have to be very, very careful. There is somebody around you who... If you tell them your plans, your business, they will not hesitate to snatch it from you. So be careful. Be careful with that. This plan, whatever it is that you got that's going to come to you, has the potential. Where's this that fell over? Has the potential. I'll read that to y'all in a second. Has the potential to... Um, be a game changer in your life to bring you more stability, bringing you more security in your life, right? To make things a little easier for you, to help you discover your own hidden gifts and talents and abilities. But watch out for this fake, this fake friend or whoever you got around you. There's somebody who you, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that you already know or you have some sort of inclination about this person or they've shown you who they were in the past already. Remember, people change for who they want to keep. And this person has may have been doing things in behind the scenes. And this may be a karmic individual who in your life that who you, you should have already been uh, let this person go because they're not your friend. They're not your whoever the hell they are. You know, you will receive foresight. On your situation so um, you're gonna be blessed with knowing who this person is before they have a chance to attack you before they have a chance to steal from you so but it's gonna be up to you whether or not you use that information to your advantage cuz I'm hearing the seeing that some people might get the the, the you might get the information on this person and say, oh, that's the person that, you know, that is who I need to watch out for. But if you keep them around you, you're still allowing them to be able to act out whatever they're, what, whatever they're going to act out with stealing from you or taking from you. You have to. I'm just hearing cut ties, cut them off. cut ties and cut them off yeah this is somebody trying to they're trying to take something from you this is hackers they're trying to take something from you violate you expose something right bring something out into the open this talks about a break in a theft taking something over taking over your account taking over your ideas Stealing your information, pretending to be somebody that they're not because we have catfish. Yeah, tapping into your secrets. It says Shh, nobody has to know. You're realizing that you can't trust everybody around you. Somebody has been around you. Let me you, you about to hit the jackpot, though. You feel me? There's something it says I can't lose. So there's something that you on the verge of doing or receiving that's going to. You're going to hit the jackpot with. It's an additional source of income. You have to be careful with somebody that's around you. And trust your intuition. This, this is somebody. See, we got confidant. This somebody that you've been trusting or you might be prone to trust. Who's going to try to hurt you. Cause you some sort of disappointment. With the hurt here, pain, suffering, trauma, confusion, have you shocked? Like, why, why, why would you do this to me? Spirit's like, I'm letting you know right now so you can head this person off so you could, you could prevent something from happening. I'm giving you the foresight that you need. Remember? You will receive foresight in your situation. I'm giving you that foresight right now for whoever needs to hear this. You might think somebody's your best friend. You might think they're there, da da da, whatever. Even if I'm hearing it's better safe than sorry. Keep your plans. Keep your secrets to yourself. 
Cause you about to be you about to be a winner. You about to hit the jackpot in something. Something is aligned for you to win. It could be this idea. You can have idea to go and do something. It could, it could blow up for you, right? Work out in your favor. You can have idea to invest in something. It could blow up for you. You're about to shock a lot of people. You're about to shock yourself with um, this new idea. So there's something that's coming for you that is going to be very very beneficial but like i said you got to keep it to yourself keep it to yourself yeah there's somebody who's toxic though because we got cooties here <laughs> there's somebody that's toxic like stay away from me like it's somebody with the wrong type of energy somebody with a toxic energy they're very very poisonous they transfer energy over to people they use all the wrong words this is like the debbie downer type of energy Stay away from people like that and show your strength, right? Show how powerful you are and that you can do anything. You don't need certain people. That's like, this is like you depending on somebody who you can't depend on or expecting somebody to do right by you who they don't have it in their heart to do right by you. You know, being confident, standing firm. Right. Being this is you seeing results because you're standing in your boss energy. And we got pigging out. This talks about like overeating and like or overindulging, being around the wrong influences and taking the wrong influences. Right. This is also energy. Give me energy also too, like being around the wrong people energetically, energetically. Yeah, this person is a whole uh, psychic vampire or their whole there's somebody who they, 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 they target people. They use people. They leech off of people. They get you to to buy into their little sob stories and then they uh, depend on you. This is this is giving me the codependent type of energy. But this is somebody who will not hesitate to stab you in your back if they got the chance to, especially if they felt like it was going to be like a come up for them. So be careful. Say this person is a whole clown. You feel me? A goofball, an underminer. They undermine what you do. This may be somebody who tries to kill your dreams, but then turn around and take it and profit off of it. Be careful, people. This could be somebody who'd be like, you'd be like, oh, I'm about to go down here and get a job at such and such place. They're hiring and you it may have been meant for you to see it because they got that one position they're holding it for you but you you tell your friend about it and now they wasn't even checking for this place they were going to go and apply somewhere else but then they're like yo i'm gonna go ahead and get this i'm gonna go and then they go and go over there and before you do and get it before you do like and you're like what you wasn't you didn't even you told me you didn't even want to work at this type of place but all of a sudden now i want to work at it and now you come in and you taking it like you gotta be careful this is a chaos agent, somebody who's uh, operated off of demonic energy. Yeah, don't be in this position right here. This is foresight. If you do tell, yo, it's something that's going to come to you. That's where say if you tell this person, if you tell somebody around you, if you if you share whatever this is, this idea, that's a jackpot. If you tell, you want, you're going to have, it's going to be a lost opportunity for you. Because you're dealing with somebody who feels entitled, somebody who throws tantrums, somebody who's spoiled. They're always a victim, but they're actually the bully. Somebody wants to steal something from you, but the only way that they can steal it from you is if you confide in them. Yeah, look, fishy. Ew, something just ain't right. Bull. BS, out of the balance, off. Yeah, you know something is off. Trust that. If you feel something is off, it's off. If something stinks, it stinks. It is what it is. 
rumors. Somebody may be spreading rumors about you. You're the topic of discussion. They have an agenda towards you. It could be about your image, about the way that you look. Because you may be somebody who's very, very talented, gifted, and everybody knows it. But there's somebody around you who doesn't like that. They want to have that. They want to have that, those talents, those gifts, those abilities. They want to have people talk about them in a positive way like that. But this is somebody who is actively working against you. But they're supposed to be a friend. They're supposed to be somebody who's on your team. They're supposed to be a, some sort of supporter. But they're talking shit about you behind your back. Or trying to defame your name, your character, right? This is something you're being, you're actually right now. Well, I'm telling you about it. So you're not going to be blinded, blinded, blinded me with sign. You're not going to be blinded by this after this. But this person has been operating behind the scenes, doing everything behind your back. Yeah, see, we got red flag. Investigate. If you know something is wrong, so you know something doesn't seem right, investigate it. It says red flags, uneasy feeling, vibes, uncovering mystery, curiosity. Yes, yeah, like you know something is wrong with a person, place, or thing. You know something is off. Yeah, spirit's like if you know if you know something is off, pay attention to those vibrations. Pay attention to those uh feelings that you get in. Yeah, see him talking about you gotta bring your being your high priestess, high priest mode. Pay attention to the psychic vibes that you get. Pay attention to the downloads that you get. Stay tapped and tuned in. Your spiritual connection allows you to see through people and have X-ray vision. There's somebody around you who needs to be discovered because they're actively working against you, working trying to take your blessings, trying to yeah. Spirit telling you don't be the martyr for nobody, bro. There could be this could be somebody that you reconcile with that you that you went against your better judgment and you reconcile with this person. Old lover, old friend, that person is a snake. This may, person may be coming back. This could be for some of y'all, depending on what timeline you're on, the person could be over. You could already have taken the forgiven this person and taking them back. And they're in the process of betraying you in some sort of way. Or this could be somebody who's planning to come back. Oh, I've learned my lesson. I'm your friend. I miss our friendship, da, 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 whatever the hell it is. But they don't have their your best interests at heart. Y'all spirit telling y'all don't be the martyr. Don't be self-sacrificing for nobody. Don't be nobody's doormat. Don't suffer so somebody else can win. That's not fair. It's time for you to think outside of the box with the matrix here. Think, do something different. Standing your divine masculine power. Set boundaries. Transmute energy. What's this that fell on the floor? Contemplation. Yeah, you need to think things over. Weigh the pros. And before you take anybody back, you need to weigh the pros and the cons. You need to weigh the pros and cons, sum it all up, and then make your decision. Say, um, do I really need to have this person in my life? And if I had them in my life, then what's going to happen? Use your street smarts. Use your street smarts. Common sense. Self-preservation. Fighting back. See this? You see how this is the opposite of being a martyr? This is you laying your sword down and letting people just do with that. whatever the hell they want to do to you. But this is you standing up for yourself, using street smarts, using common sense. Be careful of somebody coming to you saying, oh, yo, let's work together on this. Like, oh, what? Ask them, do you first of all, do you know that person? Second of all, why do you want to work with that person? Is it going to be beneficial to you to them? Like what? What? You know what I'm saying? Don't just be taking any invitation willy nilly. I don't care who this person is, bro. This could be could have been your best friend from 1982. Who cares, bro? Whoever this person is that I'm picking up right now, 
this is not a good individual. This person is not on the up and up. This is not somebody to be trusted. This is not somebody to be trusted, bro. Yeah, look, we got angels. You got spiritual protection around you, divine guidance. It says virtuous entities on higher realms who help raise vibrations, ability to help and protect people spiritually. So you got a lot of spiritual protection around you. So even your guides are waving red flags or ringing the bell. Yo, ringing, ringing the freaking bell about somebody coming into your life they ringing a the bell saying yo uh-uh this don't let this person back into your life whoever the hell this is don't don't let them in your life or back into your life whether this is a uh past energy that's a uh, past entity or energy or demonic force that's working through a new person that's the same like somebody from the past or that same person looping back around saying yo can i be friends with you again can we be cordial again? Can we be lovers again? Can we be whatever the hell it is? Spirit is telling y'all, uh-uh, don't do it. Don't do it. You need to do your research on this person, you feel me? Don't do it. Start being nosy. <laughs> Start being skeptical about certain people. Like, why do you, first of all, you burned the hell out of me back, you know, back whenever, you feel me? You did whatever you did back to me. Why do you want to come back and get to do it again? Like, what are the pros and cons of letting somebody back into your life like that, right? Spirit say, know your enemies, baby. Know your enemies. This person is a competitor. Filled with jealousy, envy, and hate. This is an opposing force. People one doesn't like. They're trying to sabotage. These are rivals. People are trying to stop another person from succeeding. Yo, you got to know who is who. And I just heard stop being so gullible. You know what I'm saying? Stop putting stuff past people. Stop putting stuff past them. They got a clear message for y'all. Assistance. Spirit said, I'm here to help you. You feel me? We got help, aid, support, good Samaritan. Lending a helping hand, looking out for people's thing. This could be somebody coming back saying that they want to help you or coming into your life saying they want to be your assistant. Yeah. But they not. They may want to, they may come in like saying, yo, I want to assist. I want to help you in creating whatever it is that you're working on, right? That your, your projects, your plans. You see what I'm talking about? Plans, building, whatever you're trying to manifest. Whatever you know, no idea. Spirit say no, no. <laughs> that's not that's not what this is, baby. You feel me? The Most High say I'm gonna help you. You feel me? Spirit say I'm gonna help you. Your spirit team say I'm gonna help you. And if somebody is meant to be in your life, they're gonna be in your life regardless. You feel me? But this person, this energy, no. You're gonna know it's something off with this energy though. But you're creating something huge for yourself. And Spirit don't want you to allow nobody else. Your prayers is being answered is what I'm getting to. What's on the floor? Knowledge. Use your intelligence. Use your wisdom. This is something I'm, I'm hearing that you've already gone through it before. See, somebody about to contact you, yo. You've gone through this before. With either the same person or through somebody else. You already know the deal. You know, already know what the game plan is so you don't have to go through this anymore yeah somebody's about to contact you after this person could have become could could be contacting you after some sort of break y'all may be getting ready to go on some sort of break or you might need to take a break from this person or keep that break going to enjoy your life to explore Spirit's telling you to open your eyes and see with this vision here. Open your eyes and use your discernment here. This is somebody who's not been. This person is not. Whoever this is, they've not been in your life consistently. No, they have not. They have not been in your life consistently. Spirit's telling you to, to wake up to see exactly who this person is. Use your strength and your wisdom. Send in your dragon energy. Use your, use your um, strength and wisdom. 
Spirit say, don't worry about it. You're going to, as long as you stay tapped in and tuned in, your, your abilities will be enhanced. So you will be able to see straight through this person to know exactly who and what they are and who and what anybody around you is and are. This person may be a Gemini because I just saw Gemini here and I looked on the wall and saw Gemini as well. So there could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have that in your chart as well. It says seek a union of mind and spirit. Yo, so that you're not bamboozled by anybody. Fire. There could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you could be that. It says reckless action leads to conflict. So don't be, don't just allow. This is somebody, they, they're giving me the vibes of like um, somebody who rushes in, right? They just rush in and, and give you this whole uh, exciting spiel about, oh, let's work together. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Da, 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 da. But they're not. Let me use this one. They're not like your friend is what I'm getting. Like this person is. It's giving me love bombing type of energy. Love bombing type of energy here. Yeah, you let me tell you something. They're offering you some sort of opportunity with Ace of Pentacles. They're going to offer you some sort of opportunity with Ace of Pentacles. But Spirit says you're better off doing it on your own with the Nine of Pentacles here. You're better off doing it on your own. Yep. Go, go your own way. Do your own thing. Like you don't need this. Whatever this idea is. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? The Hermit. You see, you see what I'm talking about? The Hermit energy here. It's not a match. Lovers reversed. It's not a match, baby. You're better off doing it on your own and not whatever this person trying to whenever they, whatever they are trying to propose to you, you're better off doing it yourself. This is your idea. God gave you this idea for a reason to you for a reason It's for you to do. You feel me? What is this? Five of Pentacles? Yeah. No. Is this five of Pentacles? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? This person ain't going to do nothing but confuse you. They're going to bring chaos and confusion into your life. They're going to keep this is page of wands reversed. They're going to keep your crops from growing. You see, he's growing these crops, bringing in uh, new. It's, it's going to be the opposite. It's not going to get off on a good start. So you're better off doing whatever you're trying to do on your own. You are going to struggle with this person. Do it on your own. I'm hearing I can do bad by myself. Do it on your own. You don't need them to come in and help you do nothing. Especially not this person. Yeah, this person, we got King of Cups reverse. This person don't care. This person is very, very selfish. They don't care nothing about you, baby. And we got, uh, what is this? Ten of Cups reverse. They can't bring you happiness. They can't bring you that. You feel me? They're, they're not. It's not going to come through this person. It's not going to come through them. Even if there's somebody you got feelings for, but you know they ain't, they ain't no good, keep your feelings to yourself is what I'm hearing. Keep your feelings to yourself and, and, and go off towards your Ten of Cups. Because this person ain't it. That's not the one to build nothing with. That's not the supporter, the helper, assistant, the lover, the friend, the fam, no, nothing. Nothing. See, judgment being called on this situation. Everything is being brought out into the open right now. You're going to see exactly who this person is. So they will not be able to pull the wool over your eyes and mess up this new beginning. This ace of wands, this brand new beginning that you got for yourself. This person is seeing you as some sort of opportunity. Some sort of, oh, let me jump on this person's bandwagon. No, you got a lot of angels protecting you right now with the temperance energy right here. You got a lot of protection that's around you right now, helping you with this. We're telling y'all, uh-uh, let them, if they got an idea, let them go do it by themselves and you do what you need to do by yourself. Because especially if you got everything that you need already, why do you need to add on extra people to it? Why do you need to add on extra stress to it? You don't. Let's get y'all a uh, notebook oracle message here and I'll clearly close this out. Just be careful, fam, is what I'm hearing. Just be careful. Everybody does not deserve to be, to go forward with you. You 
feel me? Especially somebody rushing in talking about, ooh, can I come with you? Hell no. Especially if you don't, if, if God didn't put that in your heart, no. Nah. <sighs> People come around saying, I'm your soulmate. I'm your twin flame. I'm your da da da. I was sent to help you. No, you weren't. Because if God told you, God would have told me to stop the, stop the foolishness. Desperation. See what I'm talking about? Somebody coming with this desperation energy. Or somebody trying to, uh, feeling that like if you're if you're coming with an energy to where you really want to have friends you really want to have a lover da, 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 people are gonna pick up on that and try to use that to their advantage we cannot be in that kind of energy number 19 don't come off desperate to anyone regardless of how passionate you feel about something or someone temper yourself and do things in moderation calm down until you can get your emotions in proper check you see what i'm talking about people mm -mm. use divination to your advantage Look to the cards to find the answers you see. Use divination tools to find clarity in this situation. You can find all you need to shed light on the situation. You have at your disposal uh, the tools you need to inform yourself and solve any mysteries, okay? But that's what I got for you guys for this message. If you like it, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to everybody out there. Fa fitai lava. Obrigado. Ciao. Thank mm -hmm. you.